At first, chatbots and similar AI models relied on the vast expanse of the human-made internet for their nourishment. They devoured data from various sources like Wikipedia, Getty, and Scribd, absorbing text, images, and other content. Through algorithmic digestion, they learned the nuances of flavor and texture, discovering which ingredients complemented each other and which did not. They honed their artistic and writing skills to create their own unique output. However, this feast only sparked their insatiable appetite. Generative AI thrives on the sustenance it receives from the web. Computers mimic intelligence by processing unimaginable amounts of data, uncovering patterns within them. ChatGPT, for instance, can write a decent high school essay due to its exposure to digitized books and articles, while Dahl E2 can generate Picasso-esque images by analyzing the entire trajectory of art history. The more data they train on, the more intelligent they become. But there lies a challenge. Eventually, these AI programs will have consumed almost every piece of human-generated digital material. Already, they are being used to flood the web with their machine-generated content, which continues to proliferate across platforms like TikTok, Instagram, media outlets, retailers, and even in academic experiments. To develop more advanced AI products, big tech might have no choice but to feed their programs AI-generated content or struggle to distinguish between human and synthetic data a potentially disastrous change in diet for both the models and the underlying problem with using AI output to train future AI. Despite remarkable advancements, chatbots and other generative tools, such as Midjourney and Stable Diffusion for image creation, can still exhibit shocking dysfunction. Their outputs often contain biases, falsehoods, and absurdities. According to Ilya Shumelov, a machine learning researcher at Oxford University, the mistakes made by these AI programs will perpetuate and amplify over time if they continue to learn from each other. Recursive training could magnify bias and errors, as previous research suggests. For example, chatbots trained on the writings of a racist chatbot would only become more prejudiced. Moreover, as each generation of AI forgets or misunderstands underrepresented concepts, it becomes overconfident in what it does know. Eventually, what the machine deems probable, may appear incoherent to humans. A recent study on this phenomenon, although not peer-reviewed, conducted by Shumelov and his colleagues, refers to the outcome of these amplified errors as model collapse. It is a degenerative process where models gradually forget, resembling a senile state. The study demonstrates how model collapse occurs in various AI programs, such as GPT-2 trained on GPT-1's outputs, and the subsequent generations like GPT-3 on GPT-2, and so on. The results showed that the models deteriorated, losing their original functionality and producing nonsensical or distorted output. Generative AI generates outputs based on the patterns it has learned from training data, prioritizing what it deems most probable. This means less probable events, either due to flaws in the algorithm or inadequate representation in the training data resulting in unconventional word choices, strange shapes, or limited diversity in images, may be absent or flawed in the model's output. As each AI generation learns from its predecessors, it accumulates errors and loses information on improbable events, exacerbating the problem. In other words, these AI programs begin to produce meaningless averages, akin to static on a heavily copied cassette. They lose the ability to create a functional map of language and its meanings, failing to include all possible words and converging towards nonsensical sequences. The risk of model collapse highlights the importance of curating training datasets. Filtering and selecting high-quality inputs have a significant impact on the model's performance. Synthetic data and human-generated data are not inherently good or bad. Both have the potential for misalignment with reality and introducing biases. Researchers can mitigate bias and other issues by curating AI-generated data that represents a more accurate distribution of the real world. By using AI to generate text or images that counterbalance existing prejudices, it may be possible to debia systems. While a catastrophic model collapse is unlikely to be released as a product, the accumulation of subtle biases and misperceptions poses a more significant concern. As machine-made content becomes indistinguishable from human creations, flaws and biases can seep into AI systems without detection. For example, gender bias in a resume screening tool could evolve into more insidious forms in subsequent generations. Rather than consuming themselves, 
These chatbots may leave undetectable traces of cybernetic contamination that gradually poison not only their own food and water supply but also humanities at large. Thanks for watching.